is Dr. Long Vo. And who is Dr. Julie Dow? I believe they're with Smile Center Dental outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. We did a terrific interview with both of them for our Dental Top Doc Legends program because of the innovative work in dentistry that these folks are doing up they there. They have some groundbreaking work. And you're about to see one of the questions and answers that we asked them during our interview series. And then at the end, we have a lot more for you, so you want to stay tuned all the way to the end. Special offer coming for you. A very special offer. Stay tuned. I'm here with dentist Dr. Long Vo, and a question written to us, and I think I know the, how you're going to answer this first part because of what we've already talked about, but the second part. So, should a pregnant woman see the dentist, and when? Uh, pregnant women should definitely see their dentist. Um, obviously, there is a link between mommy and the baby, so oh, yes. what affects mommy affects the baby. Uh, when when uh, should she come in? That is the more difficult question to answer. Uh, during the first uh, trimester of pregnancy, there's so many changes going on. Mommy is excited, she's scared, she's confused, all these hormonal changes, uh, changes in her body. So uh, your body is trying to uh, adapt and uh, mommy is adapting and she's uh, uncomfortable and uh, it's not the best time to come in for a, a dental appointment and plus uh, the, the child is so underdeveloped at that point that uh, it's very um, important to, to stay away from any dental work and all that at that stage. Okay, So we, we want to make sure baby is strong enough. That's why the second trimester, second. that's where the, the baby is more developed and uh, Mommy is more comfortable. Uh, she, she's uh, more used to uh, her body and adapting to everything, and then that's where uh, she should come in and see the dentist. Now, the third trimester, obviously, now it's more difficult to move. Um, there's more weight, and lying down for an appointment is, is not the best thing, having all that weight um, on you. And um, your body is simply getting ready to welcome the baby. And uh, there's more important things to, uh, to take care of at that point. So the second trimester is definitely the most, the, the best time to come in to, to visit and see your dentist. So second trimester, that's part of this two yes. by four early prevention dental health program. Yes. That's the first of that's the, the two. That's the first step, yes. Try the, first, uh, the second trimester. So Dr. Julie, you've actually had a couple of second trimesters. Yes. So uh, <laughs> from a mom's point of view, uh, as well as a dentist's point of view, I mean, what makes this second trimester more important than either the first or the third? Um, you know, well, again, you want to have enough time also to, you know, if we, if we catch anything, um, it's to prevent um, problems that could lead to complication towards the end of the pregnancy. Um, you know, by, by the time you're pregnant, everything goes pretty fast, but also um, you never have really the time for yourself. Um, Towards the end of the pregnancy, you want to avoid infection or needing major dental treatment because that's not the best time. This is a time that you need to focus um, on, you know, to welcome um, the arrival of, of your baby. Um, so that's why the second trimester is so important because if you wait so long um, and you know you don't have it, if there's need for treatment, you're not in the best position to receive it. Right. The first trimester, it's always the most delicate part. Um, you know, when you're pregnant, you don't want to disrupt things. Definitely, at that point. the baby's developing all their, um, the baby's major organs are being developed. Um, you know, when you're pregnant, once you're past the first trimester, is when you can start to take a bit of a breather. Um, but there's always all these changes happening in your body. But it's very important, and we want to remind all you know, um, future moms is that they they should come in and have the teeth looked after because you want to prevent complication. Um, and also, once you have a baby, you're so busy. Yeah. Right, you're Once not going to have time at that point. You're going to be able to come back again. <laughs> you're going to be worried about getting some sleep, let alone uh, running and off to the dentist. That's not the right time either. Let's say you need a root canal. Now you have like a young um, infant. Uh, that's not the best time to get that done as well. And you want to prevent, you know, complications. So it really gives you a chance. You know, things are stable enough, but not so advanced that you know you're getting into other things. Definitely. So, great. <laughs> Whoa, Dr. Mark, that's a good answer there to that question. That was terrific, but that's just the beginning. We have so much more to give you here. Where do we have more to give you here? DentalSecrets101.com. DentalSecrets101.com. What do we have there? 
there we have a hey, we have the entire interview that this was just one question from but that's just the beginning we have the dental secrets 101 special report oh you do want to get that that's a Absolutely. downloadable right away you can get all these questions and answers some new ones some other information lots of information to take care of your dental health and the dental health of your family but you're also going to get an ongoing newsletter with great tips for your dental health and taking care of your kids but the interview is going to be terrific because it is just lots and lots of information with two dentists and every time we add another series of these, we add it to the same thing. So you may find there's a lot more there than you even think is there. So if you liked this question and answer, now's the time to get even more. So click on that link that's down below, Dental Secrets 101, and get all of this plus so much more.